my roommate invited me to his dance fighting class. <laughs> no. I was like, hell yeah, man, I would love to go to the two things that made high school suck class. Yeah, that sounds great. Dancing and fighting, why are we combining things that already embarrass me on their own? Dude, come to the bar on Monday. It's a uh, job interview asking to borrow money night. <laughs> what are you doing tomorrow? We're going on a showering in gym class telling my dad I'm gay hike. <laughs> going to dance fighting class, man. Especially because I'm 34. You know what I mean? 34, and I love it. I love being in my 30s so much. Probably because Woo! my 20s were trash, the whole thing. You could sum up my entire 20s with one phrase. Amanda, why? The whole thing. <laughs> it's so much more chill now, man. I don't throw up anymore, I have a teapot, it's dope. <laughs> You might not know this, on your 30th birthday, a guy in a trench coat knocks on your door, and when you answer it, he just walks inside and puts all your posters in frames. It's awesome. Best government program I've ever been a part of. I was at a party, please believe me. And I was, uh, I was talking to this guy at this party about how I um, was conflicted about my sexuality a lot when I was young. You know, because I'm a real blast at parties. And uh, I said that to him and this guy's response was, what the hell? Um, so he's fun. <laughs> what the hell? And I was like, oh, what, man? You never questioned your sexuality before? And he goes, dude, no! <laughs> I was like, come on, man, really? Never? You've never once in your life wondered if you're gay? And he said, Nah, man, I'm pathologically heterosexual. And I was like, Oh, wow, you're for sure gay. It's a pathology for you? There's a psychopath living inside you making you be straight? You're what? You're like gay Smeagol? I want to date men, but we won't let us. <laughs> Give me a break, dude. Everybody wonders if they're gay. Everyone, even the straightest guy alive, which, I mean, that doesn't even mean anything. That's just a dude who's like, yeah, what's up, Dad? Of course my girlfriend's hot. Did you fuck Mom today? See you later. <laughs> like dudes, you know, have been terrorizing me my whole life, man. I hate them so much. I don't mind dudes. I don't mind girls. I like it all. But you know those guys, they're just guys. Yes, nah, I'm a man. Nah. I wish I could be a truck. Nah. I wish I could marry violence. <laughs> do it, man. Everybody wonders if they're gay. How could you not? Here's my story. The moment I found out you could be gay, I thought I was gay for four years. Because I'm not gay, but there's a whole high school that disagrees with that. They just let you know in high school, don't they? You're gay! Okay, good morning! Thank you! It's nice to start ninth grade today here at Hitler High. Thanks. Man, I had the, uh, the distinct pleasure of telling a Marine, a man in the Marines, that Osama bin Laden had been killed. I was at a bar and found out, went out to smoke, saw him, told him, and this was his response. Hell yeah, dude! We got him! And he went up for a high five. And that's honestly one of the most conflicted moments in my entire life. Because, like, I mean, what am I, going to high-five death? How am I going to sleep at night? But also, I grew up in a military family. I respect it a lot. It's like, man, what if he was over there? What if he lost friends over there? Uh, I don't know what to do. And eventually I was like, I'm just going to high-five him. He probably deserves it. I'm just going to do this. Here we go. And then as I'm going in for the high-five, he says, Hell yeah, man, now all we got to do is kill the rest of those dirty Muslims. No. <laughs> watched it happen. I'm racist! 